Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ashley, y'all. And you know I'm not another pound cake recipe for y'all today, okay? But I want to share some exciting news with y'all. I have released my ebooks. Now I know y'all looking at this like that ain't no ebook. That's a survival book. Okay, I had mine spiralized because I just wanted like, you know, something physical on my ebooks. But this is Pound Cake Perfection Volume 1. This is just regular recipes, okay? My pound cake recipes. All right, and volume two is my holiday edition, okay? Pound Cake Perfection volume two, one and two. So I'm gonna share the link up here, and then I'm also gonna share the link in the um, description box below so you can go ahead and get your copy. Y'all, I'm very excited. Thank you so much for those who already knew about it and have purchased my books. If, you, if you're on my email list, you might wanna get on there so you don't miss any news involving with the live butter. I hope to have a physical um, book, a, a cookbook one day, but this is where we start, y'all. Found Hate Perfection, Volume 1 and 2, and I'm so happy and excited to share it with you. Okay, y'all, so let's get into the pound cake. This is a 7 Up Mile High pound cake, y'all. It reminds me of like that Paxton Walker anniversary cake with how that frosting is and everything. It has the 7 Up icing, all right? I wanted a nice little thick coating of icing to go with this cake, y'all, to really make those flavors burst and come out. All right, so without further ado, Let's get into it. So I'll show you how we do it. Let's go. Okay, friends. So we're going to start by adding our room temperature butter to our mixer. We're going to start with the mixing process. And then, of course, we're going to slowly add in our sugar. And y'all, please remember that the recipe can always be found in the description box. I put the ingredients there. And I also pin the um, link to the recipe in the comments. So you can click it there and get the full recipe plus tips and everything else. Okay, so we're creaming that together three to five minutes until it's nice, light, and fluffy. We're scraping down the sides of the bowl right here. All right, so we can make sure everything is really nice and combined, and then we're adding our extracts. Okay, so I'm adding some vanilla, and I'm adding um, some lemon emulsion. I wanted the combination of the both to really bring out the flavor of that 7-Up. So we're using 10 eggs, so we're adding them one at a time. Our eggs, of course, are room temperature, adding them one at a time to the batter until they're combined before we add our next egg to the batter. So make sure that you take your time. If two eggs pop in there at one time, it's cool. Just as long as you try to make sure you only add one egg at a time. Baking is a science, right? Okay, so we're scraping down the sides of the bowl once again, and then we're adding our flour to the batter. We're just going to add the flour a little bit at a time. Um, like I tell y'all, you know, all the time, twos, threes, however you want to do it. Just make sure you don't dump all your batter into your mixer at one time. And you see I'm stopping it here, too, to make sure that I don't over mix. And there we go. Pop one more scoop in there. All right, two scoops. Give that a mix again. And when I'm adding uh, ingredients other than butter or sugar i only mix out of one or two i may go up a little bit higher if i'm doing the butter and the sugar sometimes i just take my time and then here we are adding our seven up into our batter all right and once that's combined you want to go ahead and stop your mixer and of course we're going to finish um, the mixing process by hand we don't have as much to go here because we didn't end with flour. We ended with 7-Up, 7-Up pound cake. And don't ask me why we end with 7-Up. It's just a little bit different with this pound cake. We don't um, start with um, alternate between the flour and the 7-Up when making this cake. So, of course, we want to spray the hell out of that pan. That's very important. Now, that doesn't mean to overcoat your pan or anything like that. You see I'm coming in through with the brush just to make sure that all the creases and crevices are covered but some people, to me, um, spray their pan too light. It's not like something where you just, you know, spray it a little bit and then go on. No, you want your pan to be really well coated with that spray to try to your best to make sure that the cake does not stick. All right, you know, we're going to lay that batter in that pan. And we're going to smooth the top of it. And we're going to, um, our oven's already preheated to 325 degrees. 
We're baking this pound cake for an hour and a half. If you need to bake it for an hour and 45 minutes, that's completely okay. Just depending on what your toothpick um, test tells you. It may seem like a long time, but this is a lot of batter. This is a lot of cake. So the cake may take a little bit longer, and that's okay. All right, we're gonna pop that in there. And then we're gonna let it cool for 20 minutes when we take it out of the oven before we flip it out of the pan. So it's been our 20 minutes. Y'all see it's all nice and brown and a little crusty. Go ahead and remove that. And to prevent um, your cake, you losing any of your cake, make sure that you pull the top straight up. Once you flip it over to the plate, pull your top, your pan straight up in the air to try to prevent losing as much cake as possible. Sometimes it just happens. Okay, we're making our glaze. We're using powdered sugar. We're using the lemon extract and the vanilla and 7-Up to make our glaze. And you see that I changed the attachment. I like to use this attachment for um, glazes and icings, frostings, what have you. And I like to use the paddle attachment for um, my batter. If you're using a hand mixer, I mean, of course, you're going to use the same attachment um, the entire time. But on um, stand mixer, to me, it's a little bit of a difference. And you can use either or. You know, I've heard a lot of people ask, you know, do I need a stand mixer? No, you don't. You just use what you have. Of course, if you want to make cake, cake by hand, honey, you go ahead. That's too much for me. But <laughs> a hand or a stand mixer will work just fine. And we're going to lay that glaze over this cake like so. And this is a, um, a glaze that you want to set. Of course, you can... Serve it like this if you so choose, but to get a better cut, go ahead and allow that glaze to set before you cut it. And also make sure that your cake is completely cool before you add this glaze. Since it's a glaze, it's really loose and just falls. And honey, you know I'm going to show you that slice. And then we're going to get into that taste test. I definitely want y'all to make this cake. 7-Up Cake Pound Cake is a classic recipe that a lot of people enjoy, especially lemon lovers. Okay, y'all, you see the spice? You see how it's looking? Y'all, and this cake look all nice and moist. Let's go ahead and give this a taste. Mm -hmm. I like the way that icing set on this cake. The flavor is great. At 7-Up, really infuses the cake with moisture right. so you know what i want y'all to do go ahead and click the link in the comment section and grab the printable recipe so you can join this pound cake just like me thank y'all so much for your continuous support and i'll see you on another episode of the life butter bye